Creating a Robinhood account is a pretty simple process. But as you know, simple isn't always easy. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to open a brokerage account with Robinhood using your phone. This process shouldn't take more than seven minutes to complete. So grab your phone and let's get started. Since you'll be using your phone to create a Robinhood account, the first thing you need to do is download and install the Robinhood app. In this tutorial, we'll be using an Android phone. But don't worry, if you're an iPhone user, you can still follow along because the steps are basically the same. So grab the app and let's continue. Now that you have the Robinhood app, go ahead and open it. The first thing you'll see is a welcome screen. Since you're a new investor, you'll get a notice saying that there's a free stock waiting for you. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait until your account is approved to find out which company it is. But since it's free, that's not a big deal. Just don't expect to get a share of Tesla, Google, or Berkshire Hathaway Class A. Robinhood isn't stupid. Anyway, tapping the arrow brings you back to the welcome screen. From here, you can swipe left to read a few details about Robinhood. When you're done, press the sign up button to continue. For this step, enter the email address you wish to use for your Robinhood account, then press continue. You'll get a privacy pop-up. Read it. If you want to know more details, you can tap the privacy link. Otherwise, press continue to close the pop-up. Then press continue again to proceed. Now it's time to create a password for your Robinhood account. So go ahead and do that, then press continue. By the way, since you're dealing with personal finance, here are some tips to make your password super secure. Tip one, don't use password as your password. I know it sounds dumb, but you'll be shocked by how many people still do this. I'm not saying you're one of them. This is just a friendly reminder. You should also try to avoid using familiar things like birth dates, names, places, and so on. If someone knows enough about you, it shouldn't be too hard for them to hack your account. If you really want to secure your account and protect your investments, then try to create a password that's at least 10 digits long using a combination of letters, characters, and numbers. If you'd like, you can pause the video here to take a second and create a strong password. Otherwise, if you're good to go, let's move on. This step is pretty easy. Just type your first and last name, then hit continue. This is another simple step. Just enter your phone number and press the continue button. In this step, Robinhood will need to send you a code to confirm your number. Just choose whether you want to receive it via text or a phone call so you can move on to the next step. To verify your number, enter the six digit code you received from Robinhood, then tap continue. If it works, you'll get a success confirmation. Press continue to proceed. By law, Robinhood is required to collect your date of birth. So enter it, then press the continue button. In this step, you'll need to enter your home address. So do that, then press continue to proceed. This step is gonna require a few things. First is selecting your citizenship from the list. After you tap on it, you'll get a pop-up notice. Read it, then press the continue button. Next, you'll need to enter your social security number. When you're done, tap continue to go to the next step. In this step, you'll have to answer a question about your investing experience. So tap the answer that applies to you and let's continue. Similar to investing, trading options on Robinhood is commission free. Now, since this video isn't about financial derivatives, we're not gonna discuss options. But basically, if you're familiar with options and wanna trade them, then tap yes to enable it. Otherwise, if you have no idea what options are, you might wanna choose no. And don't worry, the choice you make isn't permanent. You can easily turn this feature on or off at any time in the future. Anyway, make a decision and let's move on. By law, Robinhood needs to collect information about your employment status. For this tutorial, we'll choose employed, but you'll have to tap the status that applies to you. If you're employed, go ahead and enter your employer's name, your occupation, and the industry you're in. 
When you're done, press the continue button. In this step, you'll need to answer a couple questions about your trading status. In order to prevent insider trading, Robinhood is required by law to collect this info. Although, if you're a lawmaker or rich enough, the government can't afford to come after you. Anyway, factual humor aside, answer both questions to continue. This step contains a legal document with lots of words that most people never read. Thankfully though, you'll read it. And when you're done, just tap the accept button. Once you accept, you'll get an even longer wall of text, which 99% of people choose to skip by tapping the review button. But again, you'll probably read it since you're smarter than them, right? Anyway, after reviewing your application by either reading to the bottom or tapping review, all you have to do next is press the submit application button. After submitting your application, the next thing you can do is connect your bank account to Robinhood so you can transfer money. Read the details about transfers, then press the link my account button to continue. In this step, you can read about how Robinhood links your bank. Then press continue to proceed. Next, you'll have to select your bank from the list. For this example, we'll choose Bank of America. Now, all you have to do is enter your bank login details, then tap the submit button. For this tutorial, we'll skip the bank setup. This can be done later. To skip it, just tap the X in the top right corner, then press the yes exit button. Once you're done linking your bank account, you'll be asked to create a four digit pin code. Enter it and then verify it. After that, you'll be asked to upload a few more documents to verify your identity. You can do that, then press continue, or you can skip it by tapping the skip for now link. For this tutorial, we'll choose skip for now. Congratulations, you've just created your Robinhood brokerage account. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, all you have to do is wait until your account is approved in a few days before you can start buying stocks in your favorite companies. In the meantime, you should complete any pending steps you see in your dashboard. Otherwise, use the menu to explore the app and learn more about Robinhood. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tips on making your life 1% richer, then visit evergreendimes.com.